Professional rugby has brought great change, especially in the area of technology, which is playing an increasingly important role in shaping the modern game and its players. English champions Wasps are in the vanguard of this change, and Total Rugby went to meet the club's chief video analyst, Adam Granger. On match day, uh, we, we have a cameraman, and he is on the other side of the pitch to us, unfortunately, as in the side where the coaches sit and the players change, etc., so we get that feed sent over wirelessly straight across the heads of the players and from there uh, the, the video footage is edited, cut up uh, into specific bits and information hopefully fed back to the pitch if need be. The Wasps coaching staff rely on the data gathered to pick up on incidents or trends they might have missed and Adam and his team work tirelessly throughout each match to keep them updated and as the game ends Adam's work is only just beginning. The minute the final whistle's blown, all, all what we call our game codes is done. So myself and uh, a student uh, placement guy we have in for the year, he helps me where we're coding everything as the game goes. So by the time the final whistle's gone, there will be um, line-out scrums, restarts. That will all be coded, so our game codes. So it's like then a case of getting home, starting on your individual work, and I'd like to have it all done by nine o'clock the next morning. doesn't mean I'm up all night, it just means obviously some nights you get less sleep, but you know, I've been doing it five, six years now, so you get pretty quick at it and used to it. In addition to preparing for team meetings, Adam also compiles data and footage on every player. England forward James Haskell is one of a new generation of Wasps who's grown up with the technology. I think to be honest with you, especially at Wasps, our, our, you know, our belief is working hard and progressing and being successful. And I think with that you've got to have some pretty harsh analysis. I think that um, you can't get bogged down with it. I think people react differently to it and, that, and that's the same, same as anything. That People who want to use it more often will will, will do it. We'll, we'll, we'll be in here all the time religiously. Some of the senior guys will just have the stuff that's in analysis. I think to be honest with you, it's a pretty important aid and that a lot of these guys do use it, well, especially the senior players, because you know, they always want to get better, they still want to play international rugby, or they still want to be successful Was and stay in the team. So if this enables you to do that, then, then they'll buy into it. As well as scrutinising the Wasps' performance, Adam also provides a breakdown on the opposition, a big advantage for a modern open side like Tom Rees. So at the very top level, having you know, that split-second reaction is often what makes a difference, and uh, perhaps having a, an idea as to what your opposite man or what the opposition are going to throw at you uh, definitely does help. Like Haskell, Rees has come up through the ranks taking this type of information for granted and often puts in extra hours at home. Personally, I, I do most of my analysis just sort of focusing around my own performance I and mean, we're able to sort of pull up pull up all our own clips and see what we've done, knowing that you know the team analysis will be done sort of in groups and uh, before we go out to train. But uh, yeah, normally sort of the day after a game you come in, you see what your numbers are like and uh, pick up the coach's comments and uh, either try and bury your head in the sand or walk around uh, with your chest puffed out, depending on what they've said. And inevitably, in a squad environment overseen by the likes of Sean Edwards, there's no hiding place. Sean will w watch the footage and then put it on the live screen in front of everyone and, and point out that you were <laughs> points out you were rubbish or you missed this or didn't do that. But I mean that's you know that's the way to, to do it. There's no hiding from it. everyone. Everyone can can see it and it helps other people not to make the same mistake. So we're pretty open about that. It's almost like sort of exam results being posted up on a board or test results like back at school. You know everybody gathers around to see who's done what and uh, to see what comments you've got afterwards as well. So uh, yeah, there's normally a fair bit flies around. According to Granger, his workload and the number of results up on that board are only likely to increase. Technology's advancing so quickly, there's lots of play lots of things going on. The players are also, you know, they, they drive it themselves as well because they're very keen on, uh, you know, oh, can you do this for me or why don't we try this or how can you get that information to me at half time or while I'm on the pitch, etc. So, yeah, I'm just trying to keep it going and keep it moving forward, you know. Unfortunately for Wasps, they came a distant second to London Irish in their opening Guinness Premiership match last weekend. Paralysis by analysis? Who knows? But for James Haskell and his mates, it was back to the analyst's couch on Monday. If you've made a few mistakes in the weekend, you do kind of dread the first analysis meeting because you know that out on the big screen in front of the whole squad, you're going to be made to look a fool. But, you know, you've got, you've got to sharpen up to make sure it doesn't happen again. 